Shalom of Yeshua Mashiach be with you all, especially those who listen to the truth. This is another video about Gomer Stubar, the Muslim on Paltot, who has been painfully exposed in a previous video series called Gomer Stubar's Painful Exposure on Paltot about Nag Hammadi, where we provided reference after reference about the death by crucifixion from the Nag Hammadi library after himself having made the claim that there was not one reference in the Nag Hammadi library about the crucifixion. Yet in spite of all that, Gomer Osdubar persists in lying that there is nothing in the Nag Hammadi about the crucifixion. Here's another clip sent to me by a brother in the Lord of Gomer denying what has already been proven to be the case. By the way, sorry for the bad language in the clip. Because they have no heart. They have no heart and they don't even think. They don't, they don't even think. Those, they are barbaric Muslim. And they, they thank is God that we have the net. But before I go, you know, Sir Imam, I'm going to have to let you know one thing. And all, you know, that one thing, one good thing is the West come up with alternative energy. Once they come up, they not depend in the oil. The, the Arab, the Zibala Arab, they can drink the air, the, or they can drink the oil. They cannot, they cannot even find water to drink. And they can drink the oil or the camel urine instead. And therefore they cannot have uh, 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 the power of money, which they are now available to build mosques in Europe to buy a lot, I mean to print a lot of filthy book like Quran. Once the West depends, depend on uh, uh, alternative on energy, the Arab, the Zibala one, the Arab, the Arab, the Jarab, they will cry and they will regret the rest of their life for what they treat the Western people. Sir, Imam, God bless you. I hope I did answer some of the questions. Thank you. Sir, Imam, take the mic. Gomer, do you know how it, how you say typical Islamic you're being in this room? Let's go back and look at some of the, the things. We call it the shotgun approach when Muslims come into a room. Let's see what he's he's going on about here. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. He opens up with uh, democracies. You know, in name general, these democracies, oh, the democracy, he listed off all kinds of nations who claim to have democracy. And then what he goes into, he, he makes the, the foolish mistake of saying, the Bible is banned in China. Okay, that, that's a good one. Let's see, move on down the line here. Then he wants to know, are you claiming they never banned the Bible? <laughs> Let's go on down here. Let's see. He begins to go at some other stuff. The earliest works of Alexander the Great arrived 300 years after his death. No shit. It must be said that it wasn't a debate. The brother might have meant uh, to say that it was an exchange rather than a debate. Okay. Claim number one is that a small reference in the Gospel of Philip to the crucifixion is not enough to prove the crucifixion. And claim number two is that the Gospel of Philip mentions no crucifixion in any translation. About claim number one, if a reference, even a small one, to the crucifixion of Yeshua is to be found in the Gospel of Philip, then it still falsifies Gomer's claim, since he claimed that there was nothing to begin with. In addition, if a small reference that confirms the crucifixion isn't enough to prove it, then why is a small reference in the Quran about the denial of the crucifixion enough to disprove it, according to Gomer Rosdubar? The Quran doesn't have an elaborate story denying the crucifixion either. So why does Gomer use Surah 4, verse 157 and 158 to prove that Yeshua was not crucified? If a small reference in the Quran denying the crucifixion is enough to prove it, then a small reference in the Gospel of Philip Confirming the crucifixion is enough to prove that as well. Again, the Muslim is forced to use double standards in the face of the mountain of evidence that stands against Islam. 
About claim number two, let's look at Gomorrah's Dubar's claim that no translation has anything about the crucifixion in the Gospel of Philip. Before we do that, let's listen to, to Gomer one more time. Okay, thank you. You know, you guys really need to do a little bit of comprehension. Now, what I said was that I had read a very bad translation done by Robert Eisman. Then what I said was, your inference came by translation of Eisenberg. Now, I don't need to prove it. Every serious scholar in the field has already proved it. Here you go. Here's my reference. Uh, these are inferenced statements, sir. Particularly this verse, which alleges Jesus saying, Ila ila lama sabachthani. Absolutely not. You can go to the works of Leighton. He has systematically already proven it, sir. Why don't you guys read serious scholars? Instead of cherry-picking your academia to try to enforce your ideas, why don't you read some serious scholars that have already spoken about Eisenberg's translations and inferences, sir? Huh? This is even in Wikipedia. You can get this from Wikipedia, for God's sakes. Here is your reference. The text, huh? the text has been interpreted by Eisenberg. Now, here is the reference where you can go and read where the inferences are made. Published out of New York City. Uh, serious scholars, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Nakademon. So trying to rely on an inference done by a translator and a commentator named Eisenberg uh, does not mean that it is in the original text. Cut it out. <laughs> you Christians, you are too funny. Cut it out. Simple, sir. You don't have to tap dance around commentators and all these Christian wannabes in English who are inferring their own translations. Simply give us the proof text, sir. There is nothing that indicates to us Jesus died on a crucifixion stick, sir. Your mic. Besides Wesley Eisenberg's translation, we have a reference to the cross in Patterson Brown's translation which can be easily found online, as you can see here. If you click on the link and go to verse 77, you will see Patterson Brown also has the same reference to the saying of Yeshua on the cross as Wesley Eisenberg. But not only that, Gomer also claimed that the original text doesn't have uh, anything about the cross. Here's the interlinear source for all to read that Gomer, who claimed that he can read the original slowly is wrong about this also it's even in Spanish for the hardcore doubters then we can go to Google Books and pull up the works of uh, Willis Barnstone and Marvin Meyer called the Gnostic Bible so we have again different translators when we go to page 279 we find following reference. Let's amplify it, shall we, in case Gomer missed it? Gomer criticizes the work of Wesley W. Eisenberg, and one has to question why, since Eisenberg's work is widely used by Nag Hammadi scholars, as we have just seen. Why do they, if it's such a bad translation? It's obvious that Gomer hasn't checked any of the things he claims. He either makes it up or parrots other uninformed sources. Why does he refuse to admit error? What is so bad about admitting that you were wrong? But he just keeps lying in the face of all the evidence to the contrary, to the point that his behavior can be considered diabolical. If you can lie as hard as Gomer has, even if so much evidence has been provided, then don't tell me that the father of lies isn't at work here. Oh, see, no. see, these are the arguments that, that he's coming out here with. This damn Christian who fought under Muhammad asked if uh, the Kulit is a uh, leftist. <laughs> uh, let's see, answer he battled with Muhammad with Christians. Oh, let's see. Uh, you exaggerate only two times. This male is called a donkey. It's called a cherry picking. Uh, do you see where you're at? Gomer, you see what you're doing? You're hoping by throwing so many stones on the scales that it will tip in your favor. That, that's typical, man. So let's go back to your opening statement about democracy. 
what is the template for democracy on this planet? Where would you go to say, I want to see how democracy works? Where would you go? Would you go to Mecca? Saudi Arabia? <laughs> 